guys and welcome to your Raw preview. Um, if you have not checked it out, it is the talk of the YWC. The New Day rant has dropped, ladies and gentlemen, and it is available on the General Jerry channel. So take that time to subscribe right now. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, but we actually have uh, another update. A lot of you have been asking me to do this. A lot of you have been um, saying that those that are massive fans of In The Rope Show, Matt from In The Rope Show, it is official. The, I have sent my videos out to Matt. There will be a rant-off. You all know the rant-off series for Matt from In The Rope Show. I will be the next person participating in it. Uh, and the video will be available uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, I'll even post a link, you know, uh, uh, maybe make a video or whatever, you know, to, to give you guys to shout it out. It's a crazy video that I made. I go crazy right now because a lot of people are saying, you know, when are we going to see the old school general? When are we going to have General Jerry ranting? going ballistic, going insane, and that is what you got, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today, and also did not one, not two, not three, but four videos for the rant off, ladies and gentlemen, so you need to check it out, it will be available on Tuesday or Wednesday in the, in the Rope Show by Matt, um, and uh, shout out to Matt from In The Rope Show as well, so ladies and gentlemen, now we got that out of the way, Let's get in to your five-point preview. This comes courtesy of www.com. Um, if you are watching this for the first time, what we do is we break down all the points. And what will happen is is that we will um, it will better determine uh, what Raw is going to be like. Is Raw definitely worth watching? And also, we'll be getting into your WWE news after the five points. So, let's get into it. No more tables. The Dudley Boys have apparently said that they are now turning heel. The Dudley Boys didn't only put the Usos on notice by dropping them through um, the pine on Raw. They put the WWE Universe on notice for dismissing them as the one and done legacy act. Ironically, by di dissing the tables and Dudley's um, have, uh, have uh, they won't be doing tables for themselves to prove that they are a force to be reckoned with in today's WWE. How will they begin their campaign? So the Dudley's now are turning heel. The Dudley's are definitely better as a heel and I'm definitely glad about that so um, it's good to see that those guys are turning heel right now um, so let's get into your next point right now Let's get into your next point right now. Uh, giants among men. Uh, the Y family are certainly not shy when it comes to picking targets. After eliminating Brock Lesnar in the Royal Rumble, they then dismantled Kane, the Big Show, and Ryback as part of a sinister mission to destroy WWE's most imposing superstars. There is plenty for those to go around. Who will be the who will be the new face of fear marked as the next victim? Honestly, they're probably going to go for some big job or whatever. I don't know, and then that's it so who really cares really to be honest with you um you know so um never go out of styles just a couple of weeks after his first win the wwe aj styles received his first loss at the hands of chris jericho that ties y2j and the phenomenal one um at a at one win a piece so uh one would think the stage is set for uh some kind of uh other match which could be cut and dry as it gets if the Miz isn't lurking around playing the third wheel so expect maybe a triple threat match maybe on Raw uh, maybe the Miz maybe interfering in the match um, something like that like they'll have Y2J and AJ Styles on Raw and then the Miz maybe interfering or they might do a triple threat match so suspect that um, on Raw as well so uh come at the queen um so uh yes uh obviously brie bella um there's rumors of her retiring as well um possibility of her announcing that obviously you know what happened with her and daniel bryan and shit like that um we might have an announcement um seeing as daniel bryan hung up his boots and uh, nikki bella is on the injured list that is now on brie bella to uphold her legacy's family in the ring that means her divas title match against charlotte is a must win 
No questions asked. Brie was out of action on Monday to be at Brand's side, which meant Charlotte was free to build momentum with a second victory over Alicia Fox. Um, the challenger needs a strong showing on Raw to go into her big match with ahead of steam. Uh, expect Brie Bella to, to possibly win um, uh, the Divas Championship. I think it's definitely something that, that might happen. Running into the asylum, he's a lunatic and all, but Dean Ambrose um, said that he cannot be Brock Lesnar. Doesn't seem as far-fetched as once it was. Um, he low bro Brock Lesnar before Raw went off air last week. Um, so, yes, Ambrose got the last word on Brock with a low blow, but only because Roman Reigns was there to make a distraction, which begs the question how, uh, now that Ambrose has put the beast on notice, will he turn his attention to the big dog next? So expect some rivalry between Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns on Raw. There's a very strong possibility that they might be doing that um, as well. And also, ladies and gentlemen, the Stone Cold Podcast will have a special guest with the big show. Um, it will be on tonight after Raw, exclusively on the WWE Network at the low, low price of $9.99. So, yes. Uh, so, anyway, let's get into your... Um, let's get into your news right now. Um, so this comes courtesy of WhatCulture.com. New video of Vince and Titus O'Neil scuffle. Oh, there's some new footage. Let's have a little look right now. Um, fan footage of Vince McMahon and Titus O'Neil on last week's Raw scuffle has emerged. It clearly shows the WWE chairman pushing the wrestler O'Neil. <coughs> O'Neill grabs what looks to be very minor, but McMahon's reaction is aggressive. He actually had his fist, fists clenched as he was ready to fight the, the near seven-footer. Uh, realizing the wrestler was joking, Vince then appears to laugh. He turns to walk away with O'Neill following and looking concerned to see the footage for yourself here. Um, I think I have seen it, but let's check it out. Okay. Hmm, let's have a look at this. Hey, he looks to be joking. Huh, I'm just reacting to this, ladies and gentlemen. He looks like he's laughing. Everyone's laughing at it. That's fucking stupid, dude. Like, Vince actually, he's like, <laughs> like, ah, I don't know why I got suspended. But he, his, ha his, uh, his hands are clenched. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, kind of, kind of a little bit crazy there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so yeah, um, I just seen the video there. Yeah, um, that, that is another, there's also other footage I've seen where you've seen it from the back. Um, so yes, the footage only confirms that many fans have already concluded that Vince had massively overreacted to Titus O'Neil's ill-advised joke. The grab is barely even visible, um, such is the lack of force behind it. In fact, if anyone was out in, uh, of order, it was the chairman with his shove and closed fist, a plan he really, um, he was ready to get violent with his employee. The day after the incident, Titus was informed he was suspended for 90 days, but now it is lowered to 60 days, which means that the... 38-year-old wrestler will miss uh, WrestleMania 32. The only logical explanation is that the 70-year-old McMahon had a shock at the grab, perhaps thinking he was being attacked by a fan from the crowd. Um, the scuffle with a push and close fist. It was very surprising for such a minor grab. Titus was simply saying ladies first and allowing Stephanie to walk in front of her father. So, uh, yes, um, hmm. Uh, very interesting stuff there. Uh, what's my opinion? I think um, Vince just needs to chill out. Um, he needs to calm down. He needs to stop overreacting. And that's why I personally believe. Uh, McMahon listening to bad advice over WWE Raw's ratings decline. McMahon criticized over saying that the ratings uh, don't matter. Last week's WWE conference call, McMahon blew off concerns about declining Raw ratings, citing the fact that many fans catch up with the show on YouTube. He also claimed that television viewership is down across the networks. He isn't. He wasn't necessarily wrong. The Raw does maintain the crown jewel of USA Network, 
but his dismissal of concerns um, as so-called into question by Dave Nestor on the Wrestling Observer Radio. Streaming is an impact other other big television brands, Nestor stated. UFC is up, football is the same. Um, is if as if WWE are forgetting that television is the bread and butter for half a decade now, the company has obsessed over social media and now they appear to see YouTube as the next big thing. But but whether it is Twitter or YouTube, whenever they really are going to make WWE big money, they make some money from television rights. There's anything right now, Master said. I think Vince is maybe getting bad advice or maybe he actually believes it. I don't know which. Right. I'm kind of glad they said this. So what I personally believe is that Vince McMahon seems to think that he's getting big hits on YouTube. He seems to think he's going to get a lot of money. What we've actually noticed is that a lot of YWC members and a lot of people that cover wrestling have actually been pushed down. The reason being is because of that is because Vince McMahon is covering Raw. Uh, he is uploading. No, he's not directly uploading, but his team is uploading videos on YouTube. So essentially, it pushes reviewers down. Okay, right? Now, that was one of the reasons why they did it on YouTube was to actually stop hearing people like me. Whether you believe that or not, trust me, I know that's true. Uh, they don't. They want to silence most YWC members. They want to silence most people um, that talk about wrestling. Um, they basically don't want ill-advised stuff. Um, the only thing that Vince can attack is the dirt sheets or Dave Messer or anything like that. But in terms of YouTube, he's uploading these videos, these clips, to essentially push down the viewership for WWE reviewers. But I will continue. Um, but yes, uh, basically, yes, that is one of the main reasons why. The other reason is, is that he believes that YouTube is the next big thing youtube is the next big thing but like i said you know we, we haven't hit that transfer yet where it's like everything's going to be exclusive on youtube i don't think i mean obviously there's copyright laws and shit like that you can't put everything up on youtube obviously vince Ma mcmahon can because he owns the rights to ww raw but what's going to happen is is that people are going to say well you know why should i watch a three-hour show when i can watch a five minute clip on youtube and that is why the ratings are going down um, that's what I personally believe. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, but the product is horrible. In fact, I've seen some of the hits on WWE Raw. It, it, compared to, like, mainstream, uh, YouTubers, it's pretty poor. It's, like, 200,000, which to me and you, it, it's a lot. But, like, for a big company like this, they should be hitting a million, two million, three million, four million, five million on YouTube. Um, but they're not doing that, um... Uh, so yes, I think one is because the storylines are garbage, two is because they want to keep some of the reviewers down on the search list, so then obviously WWE's upload will be top, and then you'll probably see me on like the 15th page, um, yeah, uh, and, uh, and also ladies and gentlemen, um, just the, the whole content and contrast is wrong as well, so again, that's my opinion on that situation. Let's get into some of your WWE news. John Cena hints at a grabble on WWE's WrestleMania 32 return. Um, there's been rumors that John Cena might be returning. I doubt it, but there's a chance it might happen. Um, so, yes. Also, WWE WrestleMania 33 um, might be taking place in Orlando. Uh, Mania could be returning to Florida, is speculation. Um... So yeah, WWE teasing Dean Ambrose Roman Reigns conflict on Raw, as I said in my pre-show uh, on this video. Uh, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns might have a conflict um, in the wins here on Raw, so that is something maybe to look at, I don't think. I, I think Dean needs to look kind of a little bit more stronger. Yes, he, he did a low blow to, to Brock Lesnar, but I think he has to beat up Roman Reigns tonight to make Dean a legitimate challenge. Um... So yeah, uh, Rey Mysterio could make a WWE return by SummerSlam. Um, reports are now saying that Rey Mysterio is indeed interested in a WWE return, and he might be returning at SummerSlam this year, so there's a possibility of that. Vince McMahon wanted to release WWE um, star Titus O'Neil. He actually wanted to fire him, but the team actually told him not to do that. Again, it goes back to what I said previously. And New Japan Pro Wrestling has a new... Uh, Intercontinental Champion, um, as well, uh, and that seems to be all the news right now, let's 
seems to be all the news. Ah, uh, yes, and uh, very briefly, Stardust and Steve of the Mail start a WWE Angle at Comic Con. Reports are saying that it will be Stardust against Steve of the Mail, Green Arrow, in a singles match and will take place at WrestleMania. That is what the reports are saying. Also, Ro uh, Rosa Mendez gives birth to a baby girl, so very congratulations to Rosa Mendez. Congratulations to you. Uh, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. Honestly, I think Raw's going to be not all that great. Um, I don't really see a point watching it, really. Um, Fastlane, it's very clear Roman's going to win. Uh, there's really no point even watching it until after Fastlane, really. Um, that's it, really. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.